the GCW show. Matt Tremont and Nick Gage beat the Briscoes in the main event tag team open challenge for the GCW tag team titles. John Moxley defeated Homicide for the GCW title. Jeff Jarrett beat Effie. Ruby Soho beat Ellie Catch. We had Mance Warner and Matthew Justice with Sabu and Bill Alfonso. Being Atticus Coger, Eddie Only, Gregory Iron, and Bobby Beverly. Matt Cardona beat Joey Janela. Blake Christian defeated Leo Rush. Team Gringo beat Team Bandito. AJ Gray beat PCO, Alex Cologne, G Raver, Tony Deppin, Jimmy Lloyd, and Jordan Oliver in a grab the brass ring ladder match. That was the pay per view opener. And yes, the show was on pay per view. You know what happens when a show is on pay per view? Traditional pay per view? Well, what happens is you've got a pay per view window. And that means everybody needs to hit their time cues. And I don't know what went wrong where, but the main event with Tremont and Gage versus the Briscoes went 5 minutes and 28 seconds. Just boom, 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 and then off the air. And uh, obviously nobody was happy about that, not the least of which would be the Briscoes, who in fact went public with it. But uh, that's what happens when you have a pay-per-view window. The other big story coming out of the show, there were many big stories, but uh, a couple days ago, we were talking about this show, and uh, we are talking about Nick Gage. Or not Nick Gage, Nick Wayne. <laughs> the other Nick. The other bane of my existence, Nick Wayne. But uh, Nick Wayne was scheduled to be in the pre-show match, which was uh, scheduled to be Nick Wayne, Grim Reefer, Alex Zane, Dante Leone, Shane Mercer, Jack Cartwheel, and Ninja Mac in a kickoff scramble match. And uh, Nick Wayne was not on the show. And somebody had asked me the other day, how is, uh, how is Nick Wayne going to uh, wrestle in New York? He's 16. And I said, well, I don't know, but I mean, he's gonna. Like, they booked him. They they're gonna fly him in. He got new gear. I mean, they must have a. They must have cleared it. Well, uh, the commission became aware that Nick Wayne was 16, and Nick Wayne was not allowed to work the show. So anyway, he was off the show, and. Uh, his mom was there. I can only imagine uh, her reaction to all of this. But uh, he took it like a pro, uh, clearly was not happy. And uh, in the meantime, Joey Janela has now basically stated, you know, what do you want, Nick? Name your match. I will do anything to get this match put together. And uh, Nick's favorite wrestler for I don't even know how long, uh, given that he's 16, uh, maybe most of his life, has been Will Ospreay. And if you watch Nick Wayne, you can't not see that his idol is Will Ospreay. And so Joey Janela is going to do everything in his power to put together Nick Wayne versus Will Ospreay. And uh, if he puts together Nick Wayne and Will Ospreay, and uh, he does everything in his power to make this happen because of what happened here on this show in the Hammerstein, that being Nick Wayne going all the way there and not being allowed to wor allowed to work, I would think that at the end of the day, Nick Wayne will look back very fondly on this day if this day ended up being the day that resulted in that particular match being put together for some point here down the road. So that's the story on that. And as noted, uh, Mike Sempervivi is on the road right now. And if he gets back in time, he will be logging in to talk about the rest of this show. Show did not get rave reviews. Some of the stuff got rave reviews. I know that uh, the John Moxley homicide match, uh, 11 minutes and 14 seconds for the GCW world title. People were raving about that, uh, raving about other things on the show. Show completely sold out. Uh, it was an insane atmosphere. But as far as uh, match quality and uh, timing, and I was told audio issues and that sort of thing, uh, did not get rave reviews. So... We'll get Mike's uh, Mike's review uh, when we can about the live show. He probably wouldn't be able to comment on any of the uh, production 
snafus, but I'm sure we'll get a bunch of text messages about that as well. You know, the idea, in AW at least, oh, look who's here. It's Mike Sempervivi. Hi. Oh, my goodness. I made it. That guy had a good question, and then I had something I want to say, but uh, we probably should get a four-minute GCW report in here very quickly. So, uh, caller, I apologize. I will I will get to you. Uh, I'll get to that question down the road. But, Mike, four minutes. Yes. Tell us. What would you... Well, what would you like to know about this show? Because I've heard mixed reviews. I can say being there, the crowd sounded a lot better than what apparently it sounded like on the broadcast. Apparently they had audio mixing issues, which I don't know if that was a Fight TV thing. I'm not sure exactly what it was. I was also told that it looked great. So as far as the pictures went, as far as the camera work went, that went fantastic. Um, Look... I'm obviously a GCW fan, you know, people I, that work there that I'm very friendly with, I'd like to see him succeed, and I thought it was a very good night. But there's a trade-off with having the Hammerstein Ballroom, and that is, do you get the full GCW experience? Uh, and I know they wanted to... I know they wanted to honor ECW, and I think if you're a GCW fan, you knew they were going to do that. I'm hearing from a lot of people that it was too much of an ECW type of tribute show. Again, uh, the problem with the Hammerstein is you don't get some of the blood, some of the things, the light tubes, the things that make GCW different. And that's the trade-off with, with Hammerstein. Obviously, Nick Wayne's issue, I heard you talk about it on the way in. Uh, the issue that he had there, uh, that was unfortunate. But, you know, there's going to be a silver lining in everything. And his silver lining is actually a platinum one, because at some point he's going to get Will Ospreay, probably going to be at spring break, and that's going to be fantastic. Uh you know, again, I, I I was I was satisfied with the show. A lot of people wanted FTR, uh, but Matt Tremont and, and Nick Gage I thought was a a really cool thing. Unfortunately, again, one of the trade offs you have of, of appearing on traditional pay per view, they were pressed for time, and then they had what looked like a screwy finish going off the air uh, that the Briscoes had to sell, and it was you know that was disappointing. And one of the reasons I think that it did go so long was obviously the six man lucha match was was fantastic. It was phenomenal, amazing car crash for what it was. That went long, and then Janela and Cardona went way too long. And the whole Cardona verse was in there. You had Hornswoggle, you had Marco coming back, you had this, you had that. Brian Myers, it just went too long. It was twenty minutes as far as match time goes. I'm not sure with everything else, but that unfortunately seemed to take away from the other matches. Homicide. I, I thought didn't get in as much offense as maybe he could have against Moxley and made it more of a competition and a fight because even in Homicide's hometown, unfortunately, you know, I don't think anybody believed that he could win that match. Um, you know, the end, five minutes for the main event. Again, how that thing got cut off. There were, I think, you know, there were things to be learned about this show for them. And I think there are going to be some people that have heard have heard all this buzz about GCW checked it out for the first time and went no no i don't like this but i think there's also some other people that maybe caught it saw it so wild you saw some great things you saw the second gear crew you saw all these cool things happen so again there were pros and cons to it and we can sure we can get into it a lot more tomorrow and anybody else's questions hey girl how was your new year's oh it was so much fun brooks and i put our boots on and we did a little texas two-step Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not like that. Daddy, these girls are so you. Um, who are you? I'm Wendy Chu. And why are you looking at me like a ham sandwich? Wendy who? Ham sandwich? <laughs> Wendy Chu? Then it ends. Bro, that was like easily a thousand times better than what they did. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.